you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide today. I'm going to be going over the most overrated cards currently in Madden 20. Now, I made one of these videos back in August or September after the first set of cards. Now, I feel like we've gotten a nice new set of cards because obviously, overrated cards, I can't really call so many cards overrated because if the price is right, then they're not really overrated, right? So, I want to wait at least a few months from the first video I made so that it'd be like a lot of new cards have dropped because if not, I would have been in the same range, same overrated cards. Because, quite honestly, there's not as many overrated cards as you think because the way Madden really works, if a card's overrated for the most part, People understand that and they don't want him, so by supply and demand, his price will be cheap enough to where I can't call him overrated. But thanks to some inflated prices because of rarity of cards and stuff, even overrated cards have been able to maintain value this year. So it's been pretty interesting. So I did make a list. They're not really in any order. I kind of just made it, put it together because obviously it's hard to rank who's more overrated than each other, especially considering the rarity, the prices and everything. So I kind of just let it be as is. I have a list of 10 players. I'm gonna go over each player, why I think they're overrated. Is it, some is price, some is uh, stats, some is both, some is position. It all really depends, guys, but hopefully you enjoy the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. We are just hit, we just hit 12.2K subscribers. We're growing pretty fast, so guys, you know what to do. Smash that like button. The more likes we get, guys, the quicker this channel will grow. So if you guys enjoy watching the channel every day, always smash that like button. You guys have been crazy. Absolutely crazy with likes lately. You guys have been getting 300 likes in every video, so if you're watching right now, make sure to smash the like button right now. Run the like button up, and make sure to comment down below if you think I missed anyone on the overrated list, or you wanted to, I know you guys are going to come defend some players on this list, so let's see how that goes. So let's get into this list. So coming in at number 10, but like I said, there's not really much of a rating, so that's kind of just what came to my head at that time. So it's not really much of an order. I kind of just put them down as I saw them. So first one's first. Guys, Joe Thomas. Now I'll show you guys his Redux price. Because obviously, series Redux will probably show you a more accurate description, uh, depiction of what he's going for. Because obviously, his limited time is going to go for more. So, Joe Thomas. Don't get me wrong. I love Joe Thomas in real life. I've always loved him in Madden. But I cannot justify spending close to 700k on a left tackle. And to be quite honest with you, his stats aren't even that amazing. You'd think they'd be a little bit better. You compare it to my Munoz, right? One strength difference, three awareness difference, three pass block difference, two pass block Bob. Uh, to what is it five pass block uh, finesse two run block two run block power and three run block finesse. sorry there i was mixing up my numbers so obviously they seem kind of far apart but if you power up munoz and you come up all the way most of those stats will be above a 90 which means that he'll hit the threshold anyways and he only costs like 130k joe thomas costs almost 700k and it's a left tackle obviously linemen are important and all but they're not as important as like 700k i will not i can't justify that especially where in like a month whenever they drop the next left tackle joe thomas is no longer even near the best left tackle anymore so i'd recommend you wait on that one i have to put joe thomas up there now next on the list guys quite a few reduxes are going to be on this list just because of the nature of their price first their stats next one is Le'Veon bell now if he was going for like 230 250 i'd have to say he's a great buy but for 400k Guys, Le'Veon Bell has great stats, right? But see, if it's Le'Veon Bell, his catching should be better. If his catching was really good in his route running, I could justify this card as a receiver slash running back and it'd be worth it. But 87 speed is just not usable. Right now, Saquon Barkley is on the cusp of being caught from behind all the time. With a 90 speed, Saquon gets caught all the time now because everyone else is catching up to Saquon speed. So Le'Veon Bell is going to be way too slow. Obviously, yeah, he can make a person miss, but everyone can make a person miss. I need someone that could break the long run, especially with how this Madden plays, where that's what you're going for a lot of the time. Next on the list is going to be a guy who, I don't know if you guys will call him overrated, but based on his price, I still have to put him up there because I feel like he should be even cheaper than that. And I'll, give, I'll go over why this type of quarterback is overrated, obviously, as we get to that. And that's going to be Peyton Manning. Now, 318K, obviously, Peyton Manning's great in real life. He should be great in the game. His passing is great in the game. But the issue is his throw power first off and his throw on the run. This year... There is an excessive amount of blitzing, a lot of pressure with abilities. So you need to, I'm telling you guys, you guys have two to three seconds in the pocket at max. And that's like, and remember, this isn't real life where a two to three second drop makes sense. This is a video game, right? There's latency. There's, there's a lot of things we have to deal with. There's a lot of things that as I mentally think about it, we're not actually there. So we need a little bit more time than that. And guys, with the amount of blitzing you get, the second a guy gets off the edge with the way throw under pressure works this year, you got to get away from him. If you don't get away from him, you're going to make an errant throw. And not to mention, he has no throw on the run. So even if you do get away from him for like a second, you just make a quick little right step. Now he can't throw it for you. So the only way you can make passes with Peyton Manning is literally standing still. And 
even with Lamar Jackson, I get chased down all the time. Luckily, he has escape artists and stuff. This year, I'm not saying you need escape artists. I mean, obviously, the best of the best players can do a little bit with Bless. But I'm not one of those players, and I feel like a lot of you guys aren't one of those players. So, for me personally, Peyton Manning is not the move. And for 318k, you do a lot more with that amount of coins. Now, next on the list is a guy that's been a, he's a recycled legend, and his stats, quite honestly, aren't that great. Ty Law, although he's only 202k, which he was not just that price, he was 220. You look at him, right? 89 speed, 89 excel. He's already too unathletic for my liking. See, if you're going to be in an unathletic corner, let's compare him to Ramsey, right? Ramsey's an unathletic corner in comparison to the other guys. Ramsey has same speed, same excel, worse agility, better jumping, similar play rec, but then the man's plus four, the zone's plus two, and the press is plus three, and the height's plus two. So, Ramsey is that physical corner that you want to have on a tie law, but he's more physical, he's taller, and I think he's better overall. Now, if you compare him to an actual athletic corner like Denzel Ward, that's similar, which wasn't a similar price range, way better speed, way better excel, way better agility, way better jumping. Again, with cams, I can get the play rec similar. Way better man, worse zone, better press, same height. So that's like, and then you get, you get Deion Sanders. So those guys are the athletic guys. So athletic guys are gonna kill him with everything, and even physical guys kill him. So Ty Law is overrated in my opinion, and not to mention they recycled the team captain legend, which I think was kind of whack to begin with, because obviously we want them, but I don't know if they should have given us this early, or they should have at least made them better, right? If they're gonna give it to us, at least make them a little better, considering most people's team captains. They play, I mean, I think Shazier was still the best option, but they gave us Clark already, they gave us Ty Law, which means soon we'll be getting, who's the other one? Herman Moore probably for Thanksgiving. But I really don't know if they'll end up giving us a Shazier base card. Now, next on the list, this guy. You know, it was tough to put him on here. Because, I mean, I, I kind of wanted him at one point. But when you really look at him, the price does not the price is not right on him. And that is Devin McCourty, Series Master. 865k, guys, right? Now, let's compare him to my guy, Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins is 200k. So, he's one like one-fourth of this card. He is... Almost, almost identical speed. He's two inches taller. Worse excel. Way better tackling. Le way worse play rec. But again, he hits the threshold, which is what I care about. Brian Dawkins is better pursuit. Worse man. Worse zone. Better hit power. Now, what does it tell me, right? These cards are both decently athletic. Both have good play rec. Both have good pursuit. Devin Cordy may be able to play man, but Brian Dawkins can make a both play zone. And Brian Dawkins can force fumbles. He can, so Brian Dawkins can, he can force fumbles. He's athletic. He's tall. And he can play zone. Devin McCourty is short. Can't force fumbles. Can really play zone. And man, that's it. So in my opinion, I see it as Devin McCourty might be a zone master or whatever. But I'm telling you, I had Earl Thomas. That height's killer. They get moss all the time. They, they let up good animations. And, they, and it's a run-heavy game. So when in a run-heavy game with the way stretches, the outside linebacker could fill the gap. The middle linebacker come over the middle. And if they do got the middle linebacker where they get around that gap, it's one-on-one -on -one with the safety. I'm telling you, every time for me, it was always Earl Thomas would fill the gap right after the outside linebacker or the middle linebacker, and then Devin McCord would have to make the tackle or Earl Thomas, and they just get they just get trucked over. Their hit power, they have no, or they just, even if they don't give up a big run, they always fall forward on them because they're not that strong. They don't get hit power. So it was definitely frustrating. Now, next on the list, another series Redux card, and quite honestly, you guys really seem to be fond of this guy. And don't get me wrong. He has his, he has his benefits, but... Well, you guys, when you got your argument for this guy is something that's it's like circumstantial. So I'll explain what I mean in a second. So Calvin Johnson, free safety card. Are you guys like, I'm dumb for saying he's overrated because he's six foot five and he gets picks when they go when they go near him and it counteracts receivers. Now that's assuming that they do throw it on Calvin deep and he happens to get a pick because of his height and then one of their abilities don't activate. So, but other than that, right? What do most people do? They run the ball. They run the ball. They do out route. They do out routes that have no that don't even regard the safety. So assuming that they throw to Calvin and he happens to pick it off, that is when he's great. But I don't want that considering most of the game people are gonna be running the ball. And again, Calvin's another guy that's gonna be trucked over, juked out. He's not the best defensive player. He's just good at zone and he's decently fast with good height. But other than that, he's gonna be trucked around and in the wrong game, he's not gonna be too great. Probably doesn't have great block shed. So he has to fall in the most overrated category. Next is Rob Gronkowski. 92 overall, Rob Gronkowski, six foot six, 83 speed. Now, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was, I really wanted Gronk at a point, but you have to remember, I, I'm, I like Gronk a lot, and I bet a lot of you guys do. So I was a little blinded. His run block isn't good. That's a big thing because Gronk's always been known as like another lineman on the field, which kind of sucks that they gave him bad run block. But his run block is not great. His catching's amazing, but his route running's not good. His run block's not good. And his speed's not good. So what does that tell you? He can only catch. And my George Kittle could do the same thing. My George Kittle has the same speed. Not the best catching, but I don't care about the catching because I'm not throwing fader outs to him. And he has run block. 
So they both have similar route running, similar speed, similar heights. Obviously, Gronk's a little taller and run block. And for me, with the way this game plays, I think Kittle's the better option for the price. And even if you don't want Kittle, there's plenty of other options like Evan Ingram and stuff. But Rob Gronkowski is like a glorified George Kittle minus the run blocking. So I'm more than okay with just sticking with my Kittle. And our next on the list, another series Redux, Alvin Kamara. I think a lot of these, a lot of these Reduxes are overrated. A lot of these limited time cards in general. Alvin Kamara, again, same boat as Le'Veon. The only reason I put him a little higher, if it was for that, was because of his catching. The catching does make up for it because now you can kind of use him as a route runner and a receiver in the backfield. But 87 speed again, he's not usable. Like I said, Saquon, guys, Saquon, even Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen feels hella slow on the field. And now, at this point in the game, against uh, against the God Squads. And Alvin Kamara is even slower than that. Now, I know the Excel is great, but then you compare him to Saquon, they'd have similar Excel, but, Sa but Saquon have way better speed. I can't really justify it. Obviously, the elusiveness is um, the elusiveness is okay. The trucking is great, but the trucking is not going to make a big difference. 85 to 81, like the speed will 87 to 90. I can't really justify it, and they're not even the strongest of backs. But next on the list, guys, this guy. It's hard to call him overrated because the price I feel like is more about the promo than it was about the player himself. But based on the price, I'm gonna have to put him in the overrated because it's quite crazy. This whole promo is pretty overrated. But Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack coming in at a whopping 600k. And this card's ass in comparison to his press. Compare him to Von Miller, right? Pretty much the same speed, pretty much the same excel. Slightly better strength. Von Miller's better tackle, better play rec, better block show, let's just say. Same power move, and then two different finesse moves. They're almost identical cards. I'm gonna call these cards twins, in my opinion. And this one was free. This one cost a lot of money. So, for me personally, I don't think that I can even justify Clomac. And the worst part about Clomac is, the rest of the year, if you want to power up Clomac, you're going to have to get this card or use your power pass. People have been asking me, should I use my power pass on Mac? And I can't justify it. If you're gonna waste your power pass, you could use it on a Mutt 10 player when you could just use Von Miller and get a free Mutt 10 player. I don't think this card's that great. It sucks. I hope they bring out something that like, decreases this card's price. But for the time being, he's crazy overpriced and it really does suck. Now, next guy on the list, I don't think he's going to be on the auction block, guys. So it's going to be tough to show it to you. But you guys already know. Let's see. I think it might be 92s, 93s. Let's see if we can find him. It is Ezekiel Elliott, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find him on the block. And we are perfect. He's right here. 1 million coins, right, for Ezekiel Elliott. Now, he has an 87 speed. And I think he actually looks worse than like Le'Veon Bell and Odell. And Le'Veon Bell and Odell. Le'Veon Bell and Alvin Kamara. You compare him to Saquon. Saquon beats him in speed by quite a bit. Acceleration by quite a bit. Agile by two. Carrying by a ton. Catching by a ton. Elusiveness by a decent amount. Slightly worse in trucking. And then way better blood break tackle. Guys, Saquon beats Ezekiel in every set, every facet of this game. And Ezekiel Elliott is like four times the price. Guys, that's all I got to say for this video. Ezekiel Elliott should have gotten he deserves a way better card than they gave him i think this is not an ezekiel elliott problem this is a madden poorly rated zeke because he is much better in real life than this and this shows he can break away big runs he has good excel he has way better trucking than that he has way better break tackle i've watched this guy religiously pull through the hole and drag four defenders every play super strong but that's ea's problem sucks to see it but guys that is about it for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell, boys come join the family and if you guys did enjoy, also don't forget, smash that like button. If you made it this far, make sure to run that like button up. Hopefully, we can get 300 likes in this video. And guys, that's about it for the video. Comment down below if, you, if I missed anyone, if I should have added anyone. But that's it. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.